Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is video two of two for today. But first, a quick word from our sponsors. Hey bud, how's the yard sale going? <sighs> Not good, man. Not good. It's like no one in this town wants my junk. Every time they come, they just check it out and they just leave. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Especially in this condition. What do you mean? It's junk. Yeah, but it, your junk has a uh, particular odor to it, and it's filthy. I mean, come on, you expect people to want to put this in their mouth or snuggle up against this? What do you want me to do then? I mean, you got to give it a trim, a good scrubbing. It doesn't take very much to turn your trash into treasure. Whoa. Hey, how'd the rest of the day turn out? Amazing, look at all this. Wow, so when your junk doesn't stink and is neatly trimmed, people actually want it, huh? Yeah, who knew everyone in town wanted my junk? Guys, take care of your junk with Manscaped. The Lawnmower 4.0 keeps things clean and tidy, and the amazing body wash keeps you springtime fresh. Go to manscaped.com forward slash Angry Joe Show for 20% off and free shipping today. Clean up your junk today, especially if it's it's dusty and you know not not great looking. Get some cobwebs off. Oh, Hit yeah, these yeah. links down below, it's been guys. A while. <laughs> Thank you to Manscaped for supporting us. Thank you to you guys for yes. watching this video too. Uh, Alex, what else has been happening in gaming news over the last week? We're gonna keep up with the Capcom stuff, and the good news is Capcom can't add microtransactions to this stuff because we are getting new Street Fighter movie and TV projects. Um, Van Damme is coming back. Uh, I wish. Uh, but I don't I think Van Damme I don't I don't think I don't think that may may happen. Get um, Van Damme back, please. Mm -hmm. We want it. <laughs> so somebody call Van Damme, see what he's doing. Maybe a cameo. That would be. That would yeah. Be a um. You know. So, yeah, a new Street Fighter project. I'd, I'd highly recommend y'all check out the indie uh, Street Fighter one. I bought the DVD. Uh, between uh, you know these passionate fans that made Ken and Ryu. Um, Gosh, what's the name of that project? I'm gonna look it up here while we while we go <coughs> on. Well, hopefully they get the director from uh, Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, they very very good. <laughs> That's a great 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 way to start that. So they're actually working with Legendary Entertainment. Assassin's Fist is what it is. That to me is one of the better school, sort of you know Street Fighter uh, you know movies. So check out Assassin's Fist. It was a passion project from a bunch of martial artists who wanted to choreograph and make their own Street Fighter movie. Super professional, super cool. And uh, yeah, I think it's about time. About time we try re retry it. Okay. Less Legend of Chun Li, <sighs> more, <laughs> more better. Well, we got a live action movie and a live action TV program. So there's all. There's, Whoa, okay. So which one do you, which one do you want to be? Well, if the Assassin Fist people are involved, that'd be pretty sweet for the movie or TV series. Uh, otherwise, I need to know what who's involved because it could just devolve into another, you know, my fucking asylum looking movie B Z grade. You shut your mouth about Asylum. Z's asylum is awful. <laughs> they have look terrible special movies. effects. <laughs> Capcom does so well with their stuff. I mean, all the Resident Evil movies, uh, the Monster Hunter movie. Uh, you were in it. Yeah. Uh, and so it was a good time. Uh, it, nothing can go wrong with nothing, this one. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing can go wrong. So I can't so wait. You got to show us the receipts of the directors and writers that you've already paid. Yeah. So we will just have to. Before we get excited on that one. Uh, but no TV series. We don't know if it's, you know, one of the big streaming services that bought it or anything. It's just being made, and then maybe it'll get picked up by one of them. Yeah, it's been greenlit. We don't know the dates. We don't know anything. But we know that they're sure. they're planning on doing a TV <clears throat> show and a and a um, movie. Okay. Uh, we got a lot of Chat GPT news. Lots of little things. So AI is kind of taking over. It's yes. on everyone's minds. Um, and so there's there's a fun that you can have with it. We right? are aware of some of the scary stuff now going oh. on in AI development, and people are like, "All right, let's maybe back off a little bit." Ain't nobody it's backing off. It's no one's late. backing off. So there's some funny stuff that we're going to talk about, and there's some scary stuff. One, I guess this is not so funny. Uh, there's an Australian whistleblower that's suing 
ChatGPT for defamation because ChatGPT mistakenly identified this uh, Melbourne man as the perpetrator of uh, of the crime that he uncovered. Uh, and this person oh is God. the mayor of a local authority, and he uncovered like this bribery scandal. And then when he, he looked it up, it found he's like, oh, he was he, the is responsible. he was responsible for these other things. Now AI is I'm responsible for discovering it and stopping mm-hmm. it. Not I didn't do it. ChatGP says you did, and all the inquiries from millions of people. Now believe you did it. That's yep. wild. That's fucking. That's scary. You t- that's fucking scary. Dystopia shit. Yeah, there's all sorts of it, like really f- funny memes and pictures of people asking certain questions. And then ChatGPT, I, I cannot. You know, we <laughs> ethically, I can't give you information. They ask the question slightly differently, and then the AI just doesn't understand, and then gives you all the information. Including YouTubers bypassing ChatGPT's ethical constraints to make uh, make it generate working Windows 95 keys. Uh, there is Damn, man. yeah. There's all sorts of things that you can do to trick him. And there was the data leaks that we talked about last uh, last time, where some people were getting the titles of some of the searches. Samsung employees were entering some of their code to try to optimize it. Propri- proprietary Samsung code that apparently got leaked out because it's not. If you type something on the internet, I don't know if you know this, but sometimes other people can find it. And so what's happening is people are typing things in, thinking that it's just like a one way thing, and that information is. Is, is moving out there. So uh, I imagine we'll be talking about AI for quite some time. I don't think it's going no. anywhere. I don't think there's going to be any breaks put on it. And I think by the time that they want to, it'll be too late. Uh, the next story we've got Scary. is uh, gonna be too AI. AI is going to be able You're to be fucking dead. crack all of our passwords instantly. Yeah. It probably already has the ability, but if you fucking, it'll probably be able to crack all of our passwords. So everybody change your password. Yeah, you know how you guys have been using filters and all that dumb shit on your phone for the TikToks? Like, your face is in every single database, no matter what. There is no biometrics. You use your thumb on your phone all the time, they got your thumbprint. They got all of that stuff. So, uh, I don't know. It's fun. Chat GPT. <laughs> fun. Yeah. Skynet. AI. Skynet 0.5. Uh, Monster Energy has filed trademark complaints against Pokemon and Monster Hunter over the use of the word Monster. Uh, this is a continuation on a story that we did many years ago because Monster is a stupid fucking company. Wow. That, uh, and I can't believe this. You do not own the word Monster. Monster. It's Monster Hunter. Mm, yeah, <laughs> did well. they sue them too? Yeah, yeah. The yeah, they did. The fucking Monster See? Supercross <laughs> game was so good that they feel so confident and bold, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> so they're, uh, you cannot make another game with the word Monster in it because of Monster Energy Supercross. Everybody, we don't want anybody to get confused with our game, with your game. Well, if you bought a video game and you you could open it up and be like, hey, there's no uh, energy drink inside of we're, this, and I'm confused. And we're the ATVs. <laughs> yeah. There's no ATV popped out. Yeah. What do they think people are? Fucking morons? I think they're what? just hard up on money. Yeah, uh, it's, well, it's, so. it's trolling is what they're doing. So the a Japanese website uncovered over 100 trademark complaints filed by Monster Energy. Uh, and it's just use of like their legal team that's probably just bored, and you know they they want to use it for a variety of different things. Now there's I we I went through a bunch of them. Um, I remember there was a game called Immortal Phoenix Rising, uh, which was originally called Gods and Monsters. Yes. And according to Ubisoft, no, 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 we changed that because we wanted to change it. It had nothing to do with this trademark troll, but they changed the name of the game. And I think Gods and Monsters was significantly better titled than Immortals Phoenix Rising. Yeah, why well, um, they change that? And they changed. Well, they said it because they wanted to do it. It mm. wasn't. But they didn't make us do it. They, but it was but our, it was but our it was choice. A trademark. Yeah, and it was our choice. And no, and Ubisoft changed it. So. Um, it, Monster has gone after a couple of indie games recently as well. I imagine they're going to get shut dicks. down. It seems to be uh, they, they file these things most of the time. Whoever's going over it just goes, no, get the fuck out of here. It's not a game about anything that you do. You know, m- I'm going to say Monster 40 times you can't claim. When, when Monster Energy files legal injunctions against massive franchises like Pokemon and Capcom's Mon- Monster, Monster Hunter... Hunter. Mm-hmm. These things I th- have been around far longer than the Monster Energy product itself. You guys are fucking up. Stop it. It's stupid. If you're sponsored by Monster Energy, I don't, I'm sure they sponsor some gamers. You need to push back against your own company. Because if we were sponsored by them, I'd be like, what the fuck are y'all doing? You're embarrassing me. They're getting uh, You are embarrassing they're getting me. Some, uh... Normally, I'd embarrass you, but you are embarrassing me. 
Oh, they're getting mentioned. Like we're mentioning them now. Yeah. Like, don't hey, do monster, that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> ne- you know what? Yeah. Never mind. We're but, done with yeah, you. Yeah, but frivolous stuff. I mean, there has to be some sort of recourse for for frivolous claims yeah. and things like that. And it just it's a matter. What well, sucks too, because they like you said, they're going after smaller people too. That's kind of fucked up. Because yeah. like, well, we have to do something about. Yeah, this. They change the name of their game, and yeah. then they're just like, well, I guess I can't use this word because it's. Being They're dicks. trademark my, troll. It's they my are literally you, uh, weaponizing the legal system. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's see, their legal objections go beyond just the word monster. According to automation, the company once filed a request with the U.S. Patent Office against the Toronto Raptors, an NBA team, over a claw logo. Yeah, over their monster claw logo. It's like, well, the raptor has three claws. I said, th- and so he's the, the old how lady res- said it was a how six six you? six, right? Yeah, it's from the devil. Lady explained it to me on Reddit. Yeah, <laughs> they they use this to promote their. Food. Do not drink Monster Energy. Uh, drink G Fuel instead. A much better company. I'd rather you drink fucking uh, anything else but Monster. If this is how they're going to trademark troll. And bully smaller independent games and Piece companies, shit. even bigger companies. They think they could take the on the NBA. I, 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 I do think it's funny that Ubisoft looks like they're the only one that it worked on because you know we like punching Ubisoft while they're down. Yeah, because they're they're you know they're a lot of people who work there are terrible. So they prob- people, yeah, so it's funny. Is that confirmed that that's really what they did? They no. probably would never admit it. But no, that's not. Monster didn't do that. We, we did that. No. That's what Alex was saying. The Ubisoft statement in full is, the name change for Immortals Phoenix Rising reflects a creative decision and is not a result of, of legal the, matters, yeah. as stated in the past. Sure. And it's just like, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Gods and Monsters is a great video game name, and your Immortals Phoenix Rising yeah. was not. Yeah. yeah. So. Wow. Cut it out, Monster Energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, EA has debuted the EA Sports FC branding. Uh, so it's we're they're gonna see a ton of EAFC because they s- about to get an influx. Yeah, so the FIFA license their their whole relationship. Joe, what's FC stand for? Football club. God damn it! Good job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they're gonna be advertising everywhere. They said that they're gonna be in front, like in. You I'm only talk- know that because of the Austin FC. That is correct. <laughs> yep. And you didn't know what Austin FC stood for <laughs> no, before you not. figured it out. We've we've got <laughs> we a new soccer Austin team. FC. That it's FC, and we're like, what? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, it. it's so obvious. It's yeah. so generic, though. Awesome it is super club. generic, yeah. Yeah. Well, now EA is super generic. Yeah. Yeah. EA football club. So they're going to be start, They're really going to do big major pushes. They're going to be in stadiums all over the world because they need to get their, their they audience. They tried to do that cool logo. Mm-hmm. They're trying to make their logo look all unique so that they'll sue people that ever put the F and the C in that in that configuration. They need to start like marketing for the packs. Yeah, I mean, that's what they're working on right now. They're trying to get people used to not seeing FIFA because eventually FIFA's going to make their own game or partner with someone who makes a game for them and they really have to make sure because, I mean, mm. it's a billion-dollar industry and they want you to know that... Did you buy the new FIFA game? It's like, no, you don't say FIFA game. You say EAFC game and that's what they want. They want you the EAFC to be yeah, top yeah, of mind. Yeah, the mine. FIFA game. Yeah, the FIFA... Well, you well, can't... Well, <laughs> you got to train them. There's <laughs> the, the sports gamers... They're like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, FIFA. Mm-hmm. No, 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 FIFA? Mm-hmm. FC. FIFA. Yeah. So FIFA, right? It's FIFA FC. That's why whoever gets that <laughs> FIFA contract is going to have it so easy because their game will just be called FIFA 24. Yeah. I bought you the new FIFA, son. Yeah, and they're like, oh, it's the wrong one. But it, 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 maybe that's the right one, right? Because it may just automatically become the winner because it's top of everybody's mind. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got some ARC news. Uh, originally, uh, ARC 2, you know, we talked about ARC 2 being delayed. Yes. And they were going to uh, release a new upgraded ARC 1. And everyone thought it was going to be a free thing, and they they said, "No, we don't do shit for free. It's a video game mm-hmm. industry. Why would we do anything for you for free? Because fuck you." <laughs> and so, there was going to be an Unreal Engine Five remaster of Arc One in a fifty dollars bundle with Arc Two, and then they were going to sell remastered DLC support separately. Uh, and the people were pissed. They're like, "No, we don't want that at all. We, if you're going to take away Arc and then make us buy a new one, we don't want to have to buy both of them at the same time." So they said, "No, no, no, no problem, no problem. We've." We've listened to you. They said they digested the feedback and consulted with our partners to revise their upcoming plans. Mm. And so it is instead they're going to release Ark Survival Evolved as a standalone package that will contain several DLC upgrades at launch and receive and above free like community maps and stuff. And it'll be $60. What? You said free. $60. $60. <laughs> 
So, oh, thank but, you. But why? Wow, wow, wonderful. Because they want money. How OJ. helpful. <laughs> They want your money specifically. Because fuck you, give me money. There's yeah. other ways you can do that, but you're just pissing people off. But money. <laughs> money. But you're doing it wrong. <laughs> but so it's, you know, I actually, I had a bunch of people talk to me about Evolve and like other games and other live service games are kind of going away and we're getting new live service games going forward. And a lot of the conversation, and it's unfortunate, and it's not that I don't, you know, completely understand your position, but once you stop giving these people money, they're, They're gonna going to on. stop giving you the service. And yes. that is just how it works. You get a certain period of time. They make promises because they don't give a shit and they will break the promises. They know what they can say and not say and not, and not get yep. in trouble. Mm. And so you, if you stop giving these live service people money, your game goes away, which is one of the reasons why we're kind of against live service games mm. uh, is because it incentivizes the wrong behavior. So a lot of people are upset about this. They want to be able to play these games, especially with the delay of Arc 2. And they just, you know, they, they're in, they're in a rough spot in a lot yeah. of in a lot of these games, but it's just kind of the it's the that's nature the, of the beast. exactly for live service, and that's why it sucks. But I don't know, just it's dirty. It, it yeah, it's, it's dirty. Yeah, but it's, it's only sixty dollars. Yeah, but I already had the game. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't have the upgraded kind of version. Of I don't the game. want the upgraded. Oh, that's too bad. It looks like all the servers for the old one are down too. So if you <laughs> want to play at all, you got to get the upgraded one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, just unfortunate stuff there. Um, oh, I don't know. It's hard. I mean, not all. Not every game can do twenty nine seasons. Not every like Diablo three, right? They're about to start their twenty ninth season for for the game, mm. and it's just. Games don't do that anymore, so yeah, I don't think that you can buy a game and expect it to last for ten years, like Halo or like oh, those other things they said. It's just like put some time in, but don't spend money like it's going to be a ten year investment because mm. I just don't think that's the case. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, they're gonna have the Vin Diesel package. Oh yeah, him. him oh sure yeah, yeah <laughs> bigger. bigger muscles, <laughs> bigger budget, ten ten bucks, and you get the deluxe digital muscles. Yeah, and then he's got a little companion. I I want to play it. It's I, a we, rock. we we make fun of it, but I do want to play as Vin Diesel in Orc. So mm. looking oh, forward to that. It's gonna take a little while though. Yeah, I think it was delayed or something. So okay, that's mm. what I got. Anything else? Well, no. Um, I think we are it's good. A slow weekend. So yeah, slow just week. know that this week, you know, we're going to be gone. Uh, when? Wednesday. Wednesday, night. Wednesday, we'll not be here. Tuesday, uh, Thursday, coming back what? Sunday. 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 So um, I have a few videos that we've banked, and then hopefully I can get that Resident Evil 4 video done. And we have uh, an exciting announcement while we're gone. Then we'll come back and just pour it on you. Um, and follow that up when we get back from this event, uh, <coughs> which is exciting in itself. I'm looking forward yes. to sharing that with you. We'll share that more with you when we can on that. But we're heading to London. So, um, yes, thank you guys so much uh, for watching and much more content this week to come. And we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.